Hey guys, today we're checking out Muhammad peace be upon him in the Bible by Amidjadat. Guys, I've already checked out something like this before, but I think this is different. Guys, let's go straight into this. <laughs> Now, I have dealt with this topic before and initially when I started talking about the subject of what the Bible says about Muhammad I didn't know at the beginning and for a very long time I didn't know that the Holy Prophet Muhammad was mentioned by name in the Bible. Mentioned by name. Learned. Men have said, look where Brother Swagat has been through the Bible, as he says, countless number of times. Certain verses, he's mentioning his books, he's read it countless number of times. I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. And with this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, I'm sure Brother Swagat would appreciate it because I thought I heard him say that he knows Hebrew and he knows Greek. In the Hebrew language, it says, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im I am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, El, El stands for God. Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. There are two types of plurals. In my own mother tongue, we have plural of respect as well as of numbers. In Urdu, plural of respect as well as numbers. You see, in the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah, Jibreel and Muhammad like Father, Son and Holy Ghost? No, no. But is us, who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say he is Allah the one and only. Here he's talking about us. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this us? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This us is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. 
But our Christian brethren, you see, when they want to prove the Holy Trinity, that God Almighty is to be found in three persons, three personalities in a trinity. So they say this as stands for Father, Son and Holy Ghost because it is in the plural. Say so admittedly it is in the plural. But if it stands for gods, that's a correct translation. But there is not a Bible on earth with the dozens of different versions. There's not a single Bible on earth where it says in the beginning gods created the heavens and the earth. I said, why are you so dishonest? If it is plural, why don't you put plural? You say, in the beginning, gods created the heavens and the earth. Why do you say God? You say, if it's plural, say so. That they were gods, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and these three put together, they created... Guys, I kind of think... Wait, wait. Let me come in straight here. Yeah. I believe we are all searching for the truth, and we're not trying to, like, spite anyone. We want the truth, and I feel the truth will set us free. But he said, if it's true, why don't we put it there? But if we check out the verse, Solomon 5 verse 25, I think that's what he said. But if we want to be honest, I think this is the same video we actually did last time. And based on my research, and I've already searched about this, the, the verse isn't actually talking about prophet muhammad i know a lot of you can come after me now but if we want to be honest like logical thinking people if you read the verse muhammad if you continue reading the verse like the name still came again and again and again so you just speaking that and like if you read it i don't think prophet muhammad was born in jerusalem like i want you to read the test forget about the many translation you can get the original hebrew he actually read the original hero i can actually translate it and see what it is talking about but prophet Muhammad name is also called like if you translate it it's altogether lovely my name is honor and i can say my name was written in the bible because there is only your father and your mother, but it's clearly stated that it's not talking about my name. Like, I wish the thing was saying a prophet to be sent, Muhammadim, or like something like that. But this was a woman talking about lust, like she's lusting after a man, or a man she she kind of picture herself doing something with. I don't think it's talking about a prophet. Like, no, I don't think it is not talking about a prophet. I, I'm trying my best to make you understand. Like, just read it. Just read it and educate me after reading it, please. If I'm wrong, like, I'm willing to learn from the conversation, please. Thank you very much. Let's get back into this. The heavens and the earth. No, ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him what is his im. He said, look, in my language, this is the plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad im. Muhammad im. Plural of respect. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely, says Solomon. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised